I have no idea how it works. Wait, snow. What does I mean? Ah, I wonder if it means Sports Plus. Welcome back to the channel. So, today we've got a really kind of interesting car to feature on a Subaru Exigia GT. Now, this car is obviously a Japanese import. It's a two-year turbo running 220 brake from the factory and obviously this car is for sale. It's in immaculate condition. Um, I'll read the spec list um, if you are interested in buying this car. I'll read out the spec list very shortly. So, this car is an MPV. So if you are in the market for like an MPV, this is definitely the kind of car that you, know, you should try and like uh, consider. Overall, the kind of normal stuff you buy in the UK, which is kind of boring. This thing is that little bit different and it's incredibly practical. So let's jump right into the features of this car. Obviously it's a seven seater 2008 Subaru Exigia with low miles, two air turbo running 220 brake from the factory. It's got the, obviously the Subaru S drive five speed gearbox automatic with Triptronic. Four wheel drive, obviously. Wow, you can read the brochure. It's got 92 kilometers on the clock currently. Climate control with heated and front rear screens, HID light and fog lights, factory fitted body kit and wind deflectors, 17 inch alloys. It's got four brand new Ponti S summer sport tires made by Continental. And it's got brand new disc and pads all round. And also it's got a half leather interior. And it's got full Japanese service history. I'll link all the spec on this car in the description below. So if any of you guys maybe didn't understand what I was saying, you'll find it in the description below, all of this. Right, so let's take this thing for a test drive and see what this Super Exigia is all about. So honestly, first impressions, well, it is an incredibly smooth car to drive. Also, it's just a nice place to be as well. It's incredibly quiet, no complaints from the actual drive itself. Um, when we get further along the road, we'll put our foot down and see what the power de delivery is like. But so far, absolutely lovely car. I honestly, if I was in the market for like a family car, like you've got a big family and lots of kids, this is like, this is a good alternative, because I mean, like, you've got all your, your Ford C-Maxes, and you've got your Volkswagens, but they're all just common. This being a Japanese import, there's obviously none of these on the road in the UK. Well, I've not seen any, let's just say that. So, I mean, this is such a good alternative. The only, the only thing I haven't actually used yet, or even delved into, because I don't really know how it works, is like the entertainment system in the uh, S-Drive, or whatever that is. Um, if anyone actually knows me, I'm more into my like older cars. So this for me is quite a new car. Um, now say I can't remember if I mentioned this at the start of the video, but obviously this car is for sale. So if you do want to buy this car, which I honestly think if you've got a family, you should definitely buy this car because it's absolutely lovely little car. Um, it just doesn't feel like a big car to drive, which is a pretty good point. Because I understand that obviously some people don't like the feel of driving a really big car and um, this definitely doesn't feel like a really big car to drive especially in the corners it seems to it goes around corners so well just for the size of the car which is brought down to the fact it's got obviously the four, the four wheel drive system which is fantastic as well i don't know you're right but i'm gonna pull over for two seconds and try and figure out this i drive system um i have no idea how it works Wait, snow. What does I mean? Ah, I wonder if it means Sports Plus. I might try it. So maybe it doesn't mean snow, maybe it means Sport and Sport Plus. Let's try. <laughs> so let's see how it goes now then. Oh yeah. Oh yes. So yeah, that's, that's definitely made a difference. <laughs> The throttle, like... Oh yeah, that's made a difference. <laughs> Look at, this is like the ideal car. For like the man, who the family, who wants a car that's fast, looks good, is practical, has all the bells and whistles, all that kind of good stuff. Honestly, from the other cars that I've seen, this is the one that I would personally go for myself. I can only, I can only imagine what this car is like in a long drive. I bet you it's so nice, but it is so incredibly comfortable. You just lean back, relax, and just woofs. 
away. And obviously, one thing I love as well, it's got the good old fashioned scoop in the bonnet, just like every Subaru does. So I mean, like, this car, like, it's got so much character as well, because obviously it's a Subaru. I mean, what Subaru doesn't have character, you know? Right, put it in a wee corner here. Why? It is really fast, but it doesn't feel like it, if that makes sense. It's it's so incredibly refined, and it almost lures you into a false sense of like kind of security. It just feels like you know a really relaxed car to drive, but yet you're actually going at quite a pace. Yeah, I want to say is right. Obviously, at the moment, I don't have any GoPro cameras to put outside the car to get different shots. I'm not that far into reviewing cars yet, but I will get there eventually. So. Please bear with me on, I'm just a small time kind of YouTuber if you want to call it that, but I am doing my absolute best to put out good content and all that good stuff. So honestly, like I said, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up because it doesn't cost you anything and it goes a long way in helping my channel grow. So as always, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that thumbs up button because I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video.